What's up guys? Welcome to a new vlog. Come inside. Come inside. Good boy. So today is Wednesday, I think. Wednesday, I'm home alone with Archie and I am about to make breakfast. I went on a walk this morning with Archie and I'm hungry now. It is almost 1 p.m. I drank my coffee. This mug is the best mug ever. I took it on my walk with me. It's from Amazon. It's really, really good. I'm excited because today I'm about to make a new breakfast I saw on TikTok. Ooh, the water is boiling. I'm gonna hard boil some eggs right now. There's a viral avocado toast with shredded egg. Shredded hard boiled egg going around on TikTok right now. You guys have probably seen it. So I'm gonna hard boil a couple eggs right now so that I can make it. You shred the hard boiled egg, which seems so odd, but it looks really good. And I'm gonna make avocado toast. Okay, but I'm gonna show you that in a minute. I have my person coming over that like does all my handy handyman stuff. He's kind of like a handyman, but like, he's just like good at everything. He's coming over to help me put up my new blinds. I ordered more of these blinds that I have in this room. I ordered two more for, or no, three more for this window in the kitchen, this window in the dining room. I still don't know what to do for this window. And then I ordered one for the glam room that I'm making for one of the spare bedrooms over there. So got more blinds getting put up. I have my mirror from Home Depot. I reordered it and it's in my car. And I'm gonna have him install it. I got like a cheaper version of it. So I don't wanna break it this time. And hopefully that works out. I'm gonna have him hang that in the garage for the home gym situation. And then what else do I have? Um, I wanna put up curtains in the glam room also because I have curtains. I wanna show you guys a little haul of all this like random home decor I ordered because the curtains came in. So I wanna put the curtain rod higher. So we're just doing like house stuff today and I'm gonna show you guys everything. Right now I'm like charging because the blinds I got are automatic. So we're charging the battery for the blinds and he's gonna come over in like 20 minutes. So I really wanna make this breakfast. Okay, my camera's gonna die, so I'm gonna switch the battery out real quick. I'm gonna try to make this really quick. Let me switch the battery. <laughs> right, one sec. Okay, we're back. We're making the avocado toast. I just finished hard boiling my eggs. So what you're gonna need is actually sourdough bread, but I don't have any sourdough bread, so I'm using bagels today. I feel like it'll be good though with bagels. You're gonna need butter, salt, pepper, hot sauce, eggs, lemon, and what other, whatever other kind of seasoning you guys want. Okay, so I'm gonna start by making the avocado toast, or like the avocado mash. So I'm just mashing up an avocado on my cutting board. Mine was a little bit ripe for my liking, but it's still good, it's still good. She's gonna work out just fine. So I'm gonna do salt and pepper. I could add like chili flakes, but I don't have any right now. Oh, and then lemon juice. Just cut a little lemon. Oh no, we lost a seed. Let me just get her out of there. Then we're just gonna mash her all up. I'm gonna toast my bagel. I had a really big avocado, so. Okay, we're gonna put her aside for a second. If anyone has a good hack on peeling hard boiled eggs, let me know. I just, it's so time consuming. I don't know if I'm doing it like really dumb. I let them cool for a few minutes in the cold water after I boil them for like about nine minutes. Hopefully I did it long enough. Last time they were very runny. And then I just like kind of smack it and I just peel away. This is very time consuming. We're gonna try to go fast. Okay, about one. Actually, that was not that bad. I feel like I need to just like not be as gentle. I'm like always scared of like breaking it and like it's gonna explode, but it's cooked. It's gonna be okay. I'm not gonna be able to eat all this. We did two eggs because it says one egg per piece of toast. I'm doing like a bagel, so it's like obviously two pieces. Could have made one, I guess, but you know. I haven't eaten all day yet, and this could be like a big lunch. So we've got those peeled. Now, ooh, perfect timing. Oh my God, did I just burn my fucking bread? A little crunchy. Okay, honestly perfect. I like it a little burnt. So then we're gonna put a little bit of butter on our bread. Honestly, this looks good, just like buttered. <laughs> I usually don't go for avocado toast, but something about this shaved, grated, hard boiled egg on top looks really, really good. And once in a while, I really do like avocado toast, but like, I like it a certain way. Okay, 
We've got the butter. Now we're gonna go in with the avocado on top. <laughs> you can do however much you want. I kind of like a thinner layer, especially when I'm putting all this egg on top. I feel like it's a lot of food, so I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna be like eating when this guy comes, but it's okay. Okay, so I have a lot of leftover avocado, but that's okay. Now's the time. I'm gonna bring you in closer. Okay, so this is my grater. This is the kind of grater you're gonna want. Very small vibes. Okay, we're gonna do it. Ready? Ooh. This is very interesting. Oh my God, it's breaking. Ah! Ah! Oh no! She's falling apart a little, it's okay. I feel like if you did this with like a egg that was like in the, in the fridge for a while, it'd be a lot easier because mine's still a little bit warm and I feel like it's breaking apart a little easier, but either way, it's gonna taste good. That's good, that's good. We're gonna do the other one. This is a lot of food, maybe I should offer it to the guy. <laughs> it looks super messy, but... Oh, every time I get to the oak, it, yolk, it just breaks apart. Okay, okay, good enough, good enough, good enough. It looks good. Okay, 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 it looks so good. It looks so good. We're gonna add a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, a little bit everything with the bagel, everything but the bagel. And then we're gonna do a little drop of hot sauce. This is the white truffle infused truff hot sauce. I don't love hot sauce, so we're gonna do a little bit, like a tiny, tiny bit. I'm just gonna put it in here first so I make sure I don't do too much. Oh my God, it smells so good though. The white truffle really, oh, it's so good. Okay, okay. I'm proud of this. This looks so good. And it's so easy, you guys have to try it. Well, I mean, I'll let you know if it's good first. Let's do a taste test. Oh, oh my God. It might not look appetizing to you, but I swear it looks so freaking good. There's no way I'm gonna eat all of this, but we're gonna bring it over here and try her. All right, guys, it's time. We're gonna go for this side. Are we ready? Bon appetit. Oh my God. Mm. Oh my God. This is the best avocado toast. I am not fucking kidding you guys. I am not just saying that. Ooh, I got a bite of the hot sauce. It's good. It's tripping me out because I keep thinking that the egg is cheese because of the texture, <laughs> but it's not cheese. Honestly, on the bagel, might have made it for me. I feel like I'm gonna keep doing the bagel. I like it. Okay, I'm gonna eat this. I'll update you guys in a bit. <laughs> um, okay, obviously I didn't like this at all. It was horrible, I would not <laughs> recommend. Yeah, I devoured it. You guys have to try this recipe. It is so good, the best avocado toast. I don't know, something about the egg texture is just, it makes it so good. I'm a fan. All right, so he's here installing the mirror in the garage, so I wanted to quickly show you guys the stuff that I got in the mail recently, the home decor stuff. So obviously you guys can see the blinds, it's kind of boring, but I did get the blinds and they're gonna be put up. So I'll show you once they're like up and everything. Next, I got curtains for the glam room. I got these from Pottery Barn and I found them on like TikTok or something or like, I don't know, somewhere someone had these and they looked very luxurious. They're the Emery curtains and I just got them in the lightest color. I don't know what the color is specifically, but they're just like a white linen-y ivory color, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna open them up. He's gonna fix the railing in there, and once I put them up, I'm gonna like steam them, and I'll show you guys how, what they look like. But I got two panels. I got them really, really wide so that they look extra like bougie and luxurious because the ones in my bedroom are just, they're just not it. Um, then also for the glam room, I got this table, and I have to put it together still, but this is the material that it's in and it's just so beautiful. I will show you, I don't wanna show you too much about the glam room cause I wanna do like a whole vlog about it. I have to put it together, it has like legs and it's just like a little side table but I feel like it'd be really cute to like put next to the little love seat that I got for that room too which I'll show you soon. Thought it would be cute to like have my laptop or like next to the couch so that I can edit on my laptop on this table or like just have my coffee there, have a cute floral arrangement, I don't know, but I just love this marble pattern. It's just so beautiful. And I got this from House. They sell it on like so many different websites. I have to like find the link or like find out what it's called exactly. I just typed in like marble side table and this came up and it's on so many different websites. House was definitely the cheapest and quickest shipping that I could find. So definitely would recommend going there. I also have the legs here for it, but they're, it's actually really, really heavy, very good quality. So I'm excited to put that together. Oh, I already opened this, but I want to show you guys. This bowl is so beautiful. 
I love this style, like the scalloped, fluted, whatever you wanna call it, style that's like everywhere right now. This bowl is from CB2. It's very pricey, but this bowl is so heavy, like I'm running out of breath just holding it. It's freaking amazing quality and it's a good size. You could use this in the kitchen, like so many different places. I just have it on my coffee table, but I thought I would show you guys that. Next, I got my picture frames in, you guys, from Ikea, the ones I went to Ikea looking for. They came in stock online, and so I'm gonna open them right now. And I also got the insert, the map for it, um, from the custom place that I ordered from. Now I just have to print out the photos and hang them at my boyfriend's house. It's gonna be a gift for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna put like cute photos. I hope he's not watching this, but I don't think he is. I'll just tell him not to. Um, I'm gonna put cute photos of us in black and white. There's gonna be three frames when you walk in the room. It's really gonna be cute. So I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, looking good so far. Uh, ooh, that's a good size. And so we've got three total. Oh shit, don't wanna break more glass. All right guys, here's the mirrors. They're really just basic, or not the mirrors. Um, picture frames, they're very basic. And as you can see, the matting, like I said, I'm very bad at explaining things, but it's very like thin. And I wanted like a little, little photo. I just feel like it looks a lot better, like a small photo than like something huge. It looks kind of like poster vibes with like the big, I just don't really like it. So I wanted a tiny little photo, like raised up a little bit, like right here. And so I'm gonna open up the, mat board or whatever they're called. I don't even know what they're called. And hopefully, hopefully they fit. So that is in here. <laughs> you can't, someone got pulled over like on the other side of the fence and you're like barking at the cop. I'm like, can you not bark at the police officer, please? Okay, I think they're all in here. This seems big still. Did I not get eight by 10? This, Still seems big to me, but I thought I got it so I could put little, little photos. Where's my phone? Okay, actually this is like eight by 10. I don't know why I feel like an eight by 10 photo is actually so much smaller than this. Am I crazy? I'm so confused. I feel like a normal size eight by 10. What is this then? I feel like this is like an eight by 10. Isn't eight by 10 like your standard photo size? But just for reference, I guess, not but i feel like it'll still look good so basically it's a lot better than this so this is like the photo that would go in with, like before and then it's honestly not expensive at all to i just found like a random website that does it and you just you just replace it and i feel like it looks a lot classier like this so i'll show you guys in a future vlog what that ends up looking like but i'm super happy with this all right you guys so the guy just left Sorry, y'all are a little dirty. Um, but, but I wanted to show you guys what he did around the house. He basically, sorry, my door's open, so it's a little loud. I had him do, I had him put up the fourth mirror in the gym, garage gym. So I'll show you that right now. And then he put up some blinds and curtains. He fixed my toilet paper holder that was broken for like a year. And I just never got around to fixing it. It kept breaking actually. And he also fixed my garage door because something was off with one of the wires in my garage door. So it wasn't opening and closing properly. Like I had to sit there and hold it for the whole time that it was opening and closing. It was so annoying, but he fixed it. And now it's like perfectly, it works perfectly. So he's just the best. I love him. First, I'm gonna show you the garage. All right, so ignore this box. This is the love seat that I just bought for the glam room, but this is the gym. So it came out a little further. I could put my mat here now. Sorry, I have the door open for the light because also my light is broken, but he just installed this mirror. And now that it's installed, I'm like, do I want a fifth mirror? Cause like, honestly, I feel like I could do it. But then again, the washer and dryer like right here. So I feel like it's not like I would be working out here anyway, kind of pointless, but yeah, I already had one, two, three mirrors here. They are from Home Depot. They're like $50. I don't know why I ordered that like $400 one. I thought it was sold out, but I found one in stock. The same one, they're like $50. They're just like builder grade mirrors that you would put in like a bathroom. They don't come though. The actual, the $400 one came with a very, very long one of these things. So these cheaper ones don't come with this, which is pretty necessary to install them. I actually had these made at like a glass place, but this one, I already had it from the broken mirror, so 
worked out good. It has like sticky stuff on it. I have to take it off. Yeah, it looks really, really good. This is the gym setup. I think in the next vlog, I'm gonna put up my Tezza wall kit and I will show you like the finished product of everything, but I still have all this stuff here. Some workout equipment. We have my Native deodorant. Um, this vlog is actually sponsored by Native. So I think it's really handy to keep deodorant in your gym. So when people come over, they can just use it. So I just keep these here. So three deodorants are usually $39, but if you guys use my link down below and the code Sierra Vlogs 2, you can get three for $26. That's 33% off. You can also get 20% off body wash and toothpaste. So yeah, that's the gym. I definitely wanna start working out here more. And once I put the Tezza collage wall kit up, I feel like it'll be a vibe and just like more inspiring in here. So let me know if I should get any other equipment. I have a treadmill and a bike and like a couple little weights. I don't know, I feel like maybe it's missing something. I don't know. I really don't know what else I would use. I really only use like cardio stuff and then like small weights, but I feel like the tone all is really cool. So maybe I'll look into that. Ooh, I almost forgot. He also mounted my Dyson finally, which like I always forget to do, but it's actually, it comes in handy and it's super easy to just like charge this way. And it just is super easy to reach around from the door and grab the vacuum. So I'm really happy he did that for me. Then he installed these blinds. Maybe I should turn the light on, would that look better? But these are the same blinds that I have in the rest of my house. And I don't know why I ever like didn't put them over here in like the kitchen and dining room but I got around to ordering them and they're motorized so if I want to put them down I just click this button and it's really really easy they're from select blinds and they're just super affordable for motorized blinds like I got three windows done and it was honestly cheaper than usually like one window at like the shade store or something so I feel like it's so worth it and they ship in like two weeks the remote's really really clean and aesthetic super super easy so I would definitely recommend I'm gonna put it back up though and they're rechargeable so literally there's like a plug battery thing that you just plug in and then you just like plug it into the wall you don't have to take anything down like it's just the easiest thing ever and I I love it. So he was supposed to put some up over here. He actually already installed the little brackets, but they sent me a glitched <laughs> pair of blinds, I guess. Like something was wrapped around the motor and it was just like faulty or I don't know, but I called them and they're gonna send me a brand new pair of blinds free of charge and it's gonna ship in like two weeks. So that was really nice. They have like really good customer service. So I'm gonna have the same blinds right here. And since they're already like put up, I can just shove it up there myself and like lock it into place. It's really, really easy. So I don't have to call him back or anything. All right, now I'm gonna show you guys the curtains in the glam room. Everything is still super messy in this room. I'm gonna like vlog the process of like cleaning everything out. I think I'm gonna start with the closet cause it's just a mess and it's stressing me out, but. Okay, so also he installs the thing on the wall, which makes it really easy. So I'm just gonna put them down so you can like see what I'm doing. But this curtain rod was a lot lower before, like right here. And I had him raise it all the way, like as high as possible. So I just feel like it looks so much better. It makes the room look 10 times bigger because these bedrooms are very, very small. So love that. Okay, now I feel like you can see a little better. All right, I still have to steam these curtains, which I might do right now, actually. All right, steamer time. Handy dandy steamer. <laughs> Alright you guys, I'm halfway done. I did the best I could on this side. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as you can see the difference, like you can see all of the wrinkles on this side still and the creases. So honestly, steaming makes a really big difference. All right guys, it's a little later. I got a few more packages in the mail from Amazon that I wanted to show you guys. And also I'm about to cook dinner. My friend Tiff is coming over. So um, we're gonna have a movie night and cook a little dinner, a little chicken thing that I saw on TikTok. We love TikTok for recipes. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I put together this table. 
and it looks so cute. This is gonna go in the um, glam room and I showed you guys, but I finally put it together and it looks so cute. I just love the material. It's just such beautiful like marble or whatever. I don't even know. It's like definitely real stone. I'm gonna put that in the guest room or the glam room, but you'll guys, you guys will see that later. I'm gonna do an actual vlog where I'm gonna put all the clips of everything, putting it all together. So, but that's really cute. I'm excited for that. Also in the mail, I got this on Amazon. This is a food chopper and this is gonna be such a lifesaver when I'm chopping onions and like peppers and honestly you could do cheese and like carrots and they have like different attachments and you can also like spiral stuff with this. I don't know, I got it on Amazon and I saw it on TikTok and you just smash it and it smashes in the thing and it's super easy so love that also on amazon i got a few more decorative books these i just thought looked really good i think they're gonna inspire me for my boyfriend's home renovation too because there's like a lot of just interior design ideas so i'm gonna definitely look through these books super excited about those this is the other one that i got same kind of idea but i thought i would like just get these to style a few more areas of my house. Kind of like, I don't know, I just really hate how this console area looks. I don't know what I want to do. I just feel like it needs to be completely just fixed because I don't know if it's the mirror. Maybe I need a black mirror or a different shape mirror. This one's a little boring. And then I don't know if I love the wood accent here. And then this is just like two beach vibes. I need like, I need it to match this vibe of the house if that makes sense. I don't know. We're gonna see if we can revamp that area. And then I got this on Amazon. This brand has the best like diffuser oils. And if you guys remember when I DIY'd this candle and I bought the oil to also, I went through it again. So that was quick. I got to do that again, but they just have the best knockoff, like not knockoffs, but this scent in particular is called Love Affair. And it smells like the Baccarat Rouge perfume. And now my whole house smells like it because I put it in the diffuser. And it's just like so luxe and it's making my whole house smell like Baccarat. So I'm pretty happy with that. So this is, it's called Love Affair and it is the brand Aroma. And they also have like the Santel ones that that smells exactly like this candle. So, oh, and then I got a package from, I don't even know who sent this to me, but I opened it and it was marshmallows. So I wanted to actually do a, a legit unboxing on camera because I kind of just quickly looked at it. I don't really know. It's a little Valentine's Day box though. Let's see what's in here. Oh, we've got marshmallows. How did they even get my address? <laughs> This is so cute. So we have, oh my God, there's more. There's more underneath. So Stuffed Puffs, is that the brand? Is it Puffs or Stuffed Puffs? I'm guessing Stuffed Puffs. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Marshmallows um, sent me their classic milk chocolate. So they're pink with chocolate in the middle. And then these ones are the same. I think they're the same. So they sent me two bags. If you guys know any, like, I feel like we need to make something out of these, like some sort of cute Valentine's Day snack or treat or like drink. If you guys have any suggestions on what to do with marshmallows, ooh, maybe we do like, can we do, the only thing, when I think marshmallows, I think of Rice Krispie Squares. But if there's anything cuter we could do, I feel like that might look weird, but we could do some cute drinks. Maybe I'll do that in a vlog. Let me know your ideas down below. Oh my God, and you know what I just realized? I can take this sticker off and reuse this box for like a Valentine's Day gift. So best believe I will be doing that. All right, you guys, my friend should be here like any minute. We're gonna cook it together, but I got everything out and I wanted to tell you guys like all the ingredients that you need and everything like that and maybe start on the chicken. So I am making this like lemon creamy chicken with pasta and should be good. So what you're gonna need, salt and pepper, you're gonna need flour, you're gonna need a lemon or two. You're gonna need chicken breast, spinach, garlic, butter, chicken broth, olive oil, heavy cream, shredded Parmesan, and whatever pasta you wanna use, or you can use like rice, you can do a side of rice, but I like to like mix it and have the like sauce like all in the pat pasta, it's really, really good. Yeah, I think that's all you need. I went ahead and started, this is like really washed out. I put the flour, so you're gonna like coat the chicken with the flour and everything. So you're gonna put flour, lemon zest, 
I've already put it all on here and then salt and pepper and you're gonna coat the chicken and then fry it in the pan. So I've already put that mixture together. So now I'm gonna prepare the chicken breast. I like rarely cook chicken, so we're gonna see how this goes. Oh, by the way, this is the TikTok. Um, her name is Emily. Okay, I'll write this on the screen. Her name is Emily.Beeb, B-E-E-B-E. -E -E. And she has a ton of recipes, so this is her creamy lemon parmesan chicken. She said pat that shit dry. I feel like doing that is a thing for chicken. <laughs> like, I don't know why it's a thing, but it is a thing. Why is that a thing? Should I just start? I feel like, let me track her. Okay, she is really, really close. So do I have, she's probably getting wine right now. Let's take bets because I feel like that's where she is. She's definitely stopped up the corner. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for the water to boil and then I will start doing everything else because she's, she's still probably like gonna be five, 10 minutes. Anyways, hi, <laughs> we're drinking wine now and we're gonna start making the goods. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's sizzling. This is gonna sizzle and splatter all over the fuck. What? I just spilled that everywhere. Okay. Okay, we're gonna let this cook for six minutes on each side. That's what it looks like. And then we're gonna make the sauce. So we'll come back to that. Two. Ooh, that looks good. Oh my god, I'm a chef. We're gonna do six minutes on the other side. We're also gonna put the pasta in now. Okay, we're gonna pour the pasta in. I did not put enough water. <laughs> we're gonna add water. The chicken is done being cooked, so I'm just gonna put that to the side and cover it. And the pasta is still cooking, so now we're gonna work on the sauce. So we're gonna use the same pan as the, the chicken. Is that two teaspoons? I think it is. A couple cloves of garlic, which I really like garlic, so garlic. I'm gonna do a shit ton of garlic. Really like, good. honestly, this whole thing. <laughs> do it. I love garlic so much. Handful of spinach. Mm -hmm. A cup of chicken broth. Whoa. Then a cup of heavy cream. Oh, yes. Half a cup of Parmesan. Yes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> the whole thing. Even it was basically cup. a cup. It was basically a cup. <laughs> okay. Juice from half a lemon. I already juiced it, so it made it easier. Oh, I add the chicken again. Okay, you're gonna mix it a little and then add back in the chicken and cook on low to medium. <laughs> low to medium heat. <laughs> chicken. Oh, yes. Okay, then you're gonna cook that for a few more minutes. All right, so we put the chicken back in and added a little sliver of lemon on top while it cooks on low to medium for another 10 minutes, so. No, I'm just putting the sauce on it. I'm trying to get like, there's probably an easier way to do this, but. No, nope, looks great. I feel like it needs a lot. Doing great, sweetie. That looks good. That looks so good. I'm proud of myself. I'm so proud. All right, guys, this is a finished product. It looks so good. We have our wine. Mine with ice, because I'm so classy. I'm going to try it, and I'll let you know how it is. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Oh shit, that's good. It's fucking good. I already had a bite, but we'll take another bite. <laughs> the cook, the chicken is cooked. Thank God. I was so scared because like I don't cook chicken, you guys. I might put more sauce on. Here's a good cook, you guys. Thank you. <laughs> is it good? It's really good. Okay. It's a ten out of ten.